Hi, so we're carrying on with the split back stitch and as you can see I have gone all the way up to the top and I'm just going to come to a corner here so this is to show you how to do the corner so you take your normal stitch which is going to take you up to the actual corner point and then instead of coming back through the stitch at this point we move on to do the next stitch and come back in uh, right in the top corner and then we what that does is actually make a nice neat corner and carry on as normal by going through the um, stitches through the middle and I'll see you when we get to the bottom. We've not got to the bottom yet but I wanted to show you how to uh, finish off a thread on the other side and um, you can see I've got two different um, shadings on the bottom um, on the reverse side and that is because what I'm doing coming down this side is I'm making my stitch by coming up through the fabric to begin with and down back through the stitch behind. And what I was doing when I came up this side was the same thing in reverse. So I was making, um, making a back stitch by coming up through the middle, which is actually slightly harder to do because you're having to find your way through the fabric. There you go. It doesn't. It, it is actually easier to go down through the through the stitch than come back up through the stitch in order to split it. So you can see that started to make a different shading. So it, it's really about personal preference, how you feel. But once you're um, once you're ready to tie the fabric off, tie the um, yarn off, then what you need to be doing is simply weaving through a couple of the stitches on the back. And you'll see that there's there's no knot left. Okay, so we've done um, we've done the split back stitch now, all the way up, all the way down, all the way across, theoretically. Um, but what I wanted to do is just jump ahead a little bit and show you what we're going to be doing on these fronds at the top, and we're going to be using stem stitch. So if I show you, we are going to start off. Um, by just leaving a tail on the front as we did before. We've not obviously tied that one off yet because I've not got back to the bottom here, but um, I've told you the theory on that. Um, and if we start off right in the centre, um, try and use the hole um, that both uh, created the, both the stitches created the corner. Come on up and take a nice stitch, which would be a, a similar length to the ones that we were using down here. And before pulling in tight, what I want you to do is to come back up. Instead of splitting the wool as we did on this side, uh, we're going to push the wool to one side so we can see our drawing mark here and come up through there. And just be careful to hold your tail unless you've got a knot, which in which case you don't need to hold in. So we've done our first stitch. We go back down by making a nice even stitch. And before we pull in tight, we come up in the middle again on the same drawing line. And once more, And what you 
can see is happening here is the, um, the stitches are all lying in the same direction. So I'll finish that off and show you what happens next. Okay, so I've come to the end of that uh, first tentacle uh, or branch um, and you can see that um, all the stitches are lying uh, rather like a rope and we're just going to finish that off by weaving the tail in under a couple of stitches on the reverse side. Okay, so you're going to repeat that on the six um, other tentacles remaining. Uh, remember that we're going to be catching that tail under uh, at some point, as we will with the others. Um, and um, I guess the other thing that I should have said to begin with is that we're going to be using um, five, possibly five, four or five different colours um, on this particular design. And you can decide whether they're going to be tonal colours or contrast colours. I don't take any uh, direction from the colours I'm using. They were the, the two nearest to me at the time in a rush to put the video together. So good luck with that and there'll be more tomorrow.